I started this when I was 10 years old. My dad moved on to this operation and worked for uh, Doyle Kennedy, who, who owned it, and uh, started it back in the mid-1960s, but uh, and uh, just kind of grew up here, went to high school here at Corning, and uh, through the years, uh, I went to college for a little while, but always loved the fish farm and, and what it meant to my family, and uh, so I came back and went to work for Doyle full-time and helped him run the operation, and. Uh, I guess I started managing it really in uh, about 2005 and then in 2018 Doyle decided that he was going to get out of it and he sold it to me and so you know I'm, I'm kind of a new guy when it actually comes to owning it and all the problems that come with it. You know I'm a little unique up here. I don't sell a lot of fish to processing plants. Most of my market is to, to pay lakes which is where people go to fish, take their families and it just kind of brings me a little joy to know that yeah you know it, it takes me two to three years to raise this fish you know and, and that family may not get but an hour's enjoyment out of it but still it brings me pride to know you know because I can remember times when I was a kid you know and my dad would take me fishing you know it's just some of the best memories of my life and and that's what that's what it's all about you know it was probably in the early 90s the first time there was a real big surplus of fish well then then the processors they started kind of cutting the farmers' throats. I mean, they were they were offering prices that, that wouldn't even come close to covering the cost. So, so we kind of got to looking and being up further north like we are, we had a little bit of an advantage to some of the northern markets. They didn't want to drive as far to get the fish. They could come here and it, you know, nothing smart on our part. It was just luck of the draw kind of where we were located and uh, we hooked up with some people and we've always been honest and we found some good honest customers and we've just worked together for 30, 35 years now. So, you know, it's it's nothing special, kind of God, kind of a God thing, I think, you know, uh, uh, he'll take care of you if you let him. We, we have uh, haulers come in here, live haulers come in and I would say 95% of my fish go, go to that market uh, where those fish are going somewhere to, to be put in a recreational pond or you know a private recreational pond or a public like one of those pay lakes you know where it's a business you know those people are making a living and that's why this industry is important and why it needs to stick around you know we raise a, a quality product and, and, and that kind of makes us proud you know I always tell people when you go to a restaurant wherever you go ask them where the fish come from because there's guys like me out here that do this every day that that we appreciate that you know because because we're not just blowing a horn out here saying we got a premium product we really do I mean we do and, and I just want people to know that and that we appreciate them asking the questions they need to ask